Hello, Great Oak Wolfpack. This is Rich Sipneski, Counselor here at Great Oak High School, just speaking on behalf of our Council and Wolfpack team. And I want to present to you some exciting opportunities that the district is rolling out with support of every site for asynchronous options for you guys for the upcoming year. You may recall that you are currently doing asynchronous learning on Mondays, and we're looking to expand that for students who've been successful in that platform, that modality for the upcoming year. So that being said, the goal of this presentation is to give you an overview of some of the options that you could have for asynchronous learning for the upcoming year and walk you through the actual Google Doc form that parents will be filling out to complete this process. What is asynchronous instruction? With so many students being successful on online learning and in the platform, we're going to be expanding opportunities to many students across the district. The teacher will provide online instruction materials for reading, lectures, assignments, and monitoring progress. Students are working independently. I want to underscore independently through the entire course. Testing would occur during the teacher's schedule office hours, as explained in the upcoming slides. Office hour assessments will be done in small groups or individually. Expectations of asynchronous learning, as this is highly important. Students expecting to engage are expected to engage in four to six hours weekly. This participation is verified through access to lecture notes, video content, and student-teacher exchanges on the discussion boards. Highly critical that you have access to a computer and internet as required. Attendance is taken in IC for the work production for the day. Who would benefit from the asynchronous learning model? Students that work well independently, again, I want to underscore independently and didn't fail any classes during this past year and a half while we were working through distance learning. And many of you have been very successful. So again, we're, we're inviting and extending this opportunity out through the district to students who, who could benefit uh, in different classes with the same modality. Uh, who could this benefit? Uh, many kids who are in our leadership programs, AVID, band, competitive sports, athletic, yearbook, CTE classes, ELO and ROTC could, could benefit from possibly an asynchronous class or two, for that matter. Potential classes offered for the class of 2023, 2024, and 2025. All of these classes are dependent upon students' interest, teacher availability, and us actually getting enough interest to run a course. So you see those from everything from Art 1 for the income and freshman uh, to, to, to a sophomore or junior for next year, biology, Spanish, world history. You can see a plethora of different classes available. And again, these are dependent upon students enrolling and students interest. Schedule options for asynchronous classes, class of 2023, 2024, and 2025. As you can see, there are many different scenarios that you could have to underscore the most important thing you would be in attendance and required for a minimum of four classes at Great Oak High School. Students have to provide their own transportation. So apart from those four classes, you could have many different scenarios. Freshmen can't do zero period weights, but they could structure their schedule to maybe have seven periods uh, as an example that looks something like that, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh class at the end of the day, that could be an asynchronous class that you could do depending on uh, what we have students sign up for. And then the options just go on and on. It's almost like making your own schedule a la carte, but still meeting the requirements, of course, to graduation. Potential classes for the class of 2022 asynchronous course offerings. And again, these courses, I want to underscore dependent upon students' interest and teacher availability. Everything from ERWC to fitness walking, if you still need PE, Govan Econ, AP Microeconomics, ASL, American Sign Language 3, and Art 1. Again, we're, we're really excited to offer many options for, for really every grade level for students who've been successful in this modality, this platform of asynchronous learning. Class of 2022 asynchronous scheduling options. Again, you would be in attendance for a minimum of four classes at Great Oak High School, and you have to have your own transportation. And as you could see, there are many scenarios for an upcoming senior in this current modality. And the, the first example is just one, one, two, three, four, five, no six period, you'd have early release and a seventh period to still total at least five classes in your schedule if you wanted that, that option. To enroll in asynchronous learning, parents need to complete the survey below. Again, I want to underscore parents because it's, really their decision collaboratively with their child to actually 
take part in this program. And with that, we have an online Google Doc that a parent would have to fill out that explains the different options offered asynchronously or online in the fall. Parents can click on that link there to see different options for the modality of distance learning. And then as we go back in to the presentation and the actual survey, um, if you hit next, you're going to walk through this and UHS online course options, you're going to select whether or not you are going to be interested in taking a course. So you would hit yes and next. And then it asks if you're going to be a senior for the upcoming year. So as an example for a senior, next. And then courses you'd be interested in. And are there any courses that you would be interested in taking asynchronously? You're going to put that down. And then what your preferred format would be. Again, there are many different options. Know that every grade of student must be enrolled in four classes, underscore in four classes. What kind of schedule would you like? And if you just choose your option and submit this, we'll be able to capture what you're interested in and then the specific course that could apply to you. So it's really important that if, whether you're an incoming freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior next year, that you your parents fill this out and we're able to capture courses that you may benefit from doing asynchronously. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us. We're really excited about some of the potential classes that you could take asynchronously, and we look forward to hearing back from you and your responses. Thanks and have a great old day.